Hi, I'm Tim Jones. I'm the sales manager for Biotage, looking after the large scale flash purification equipment. Uh, we're going to go through an unboxing of a Flash 150 and show you how to build and set up the system. So we've taken everything out of the box now, so these are the main components that come out of the box. A 60 litre solvent tank made of 304 stainless steel and the various fittings on the top for connecting the solvent lines and the gas fittings. We've got a mixture of swage lock and push fit fittings. On this side we've got the radial compression module, it's all mounted on a skid. We've got the bottom head and the top head, those are both sealed onto the radial compression module with these V-bound clamps. This is going to be pressurised, squeezing the cartridge that sits inside it and then we're going to pump the solvent through from the 60 litre solvent reservoir. All of that's controlled by the AM190 manifold. Okay, so this is the AM190, this is the manifold which is used to control all the various gas pressures. Set the system up working from left to right, across this way. This valve here is setting the overall pressure on the system. And we set the pressure for the radial compression module. And then you've got two solvent lines here, which are controlled with this valve. So the Flash 150 comes with the SIM 2000. That's a two litre sample injection module. You've got a smaller size, the 1000, and you've also got a 500, so that's a litre and 500 mils as two other sizes. So just to give you an idea of how you'd use the SIM, the top comes off, you'd uh, pack your loose media into the SIM. You can place a frit on top of the media, or you can plunge straight away. The plunger just sits in. Pack it down so that it's nice and tightly packed. There are no voids. Put the frit on top if you haven't already done so. It goes on top, and the V-band clamp on top of that. We've got a bag which contains some of the frits for the SIM, top and bottom. We've got a clamp here for clamping parts of the system onto any kind of cage that you want to assemble the system into. We've got a three-way valve. We've got a set of gaskets and seals, another three-way valve. But also here we've got variety of different types of tubing. The gas tubing which is coloured and the solvent flow path tubing which is clear. Finally, and from a safety perspective very important, we've got the grounding kit. You've got a selection of different types of crocodile clamps there. the work area is prepared and you're ready to start the chromatography, just as a safety precaution make sure that all the gas is turned off. First thing to do is to fill the solvent reservoir with the solvent that you're going to use to equilibrate the cartridge. So the first thing to do is open up the top, comes off like so. The solvent goes into the container, the lid goes on. This only needs to be done up finger tight. Once this is pressurised, the way that that lid works, the pressure of the gas is pushing the seal up, so that there's no need to do that up too tight. Okay, so next up we're going to load the cartridge. So again, just check that there's no gas supply. So make sure that the top three-way valve is in the off position, and our three valves on the AM190 are also off. So the top head is secured in place with the V-band clamp. The so unscrew the fitting on the side, and take that off, it's going to just slide off to the side. So I need to take the top head off, be careful, this is quite heavy. In a new system there's going to be a bit of grease on there as well. So now that's opened up we can go and get the cartridge, that drops in from above, making sure that it's lined up over the bottom head, like so. Put the top head back on. 
and the V-band clamp goes back on. We're ready to go. So first up, we've got to make sure that the, um, the pressure is 100 to 120 psi, and then we're going to make MVO1 live, and then set the pressure that we want to run the system at. This is going to set the pressure for the radial compression module. Next up, we're going to pressurize our solvent tank. We're on solvent position A, so we're going to go live on MVO3, set the pressure to the tank, we're good to go. Okay, so once you've finished your run, in order to depressurize the system, it's just simply a reverse of uh, what we did in the first place. So we're gonna turn down the pressure gauge here on PRR2, and wait for the pressure to drop down. Once that's dropped down, we can turn the 60 liter solvent reservoir to the vent position. Then we're gonna depressurize the radial compression module. So we're gonna turn this down, wait for that to drop below 20 PSI and then we're gonna turn that to the vent position and just watch for the red dot, the pressure indicator on the radial compression module to pop back in and then we know it's safe to take the system apart. Okay, so once you've finished your run and you wanna take the cartridge out, take the V-band clamp off, remove the head and then you can use this cartridge removal tool which sits on the top of the cartridge push the band down and then you can lift it out. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully that was really useful. For more information, have a look at our new microsite on scaleup.biotage.com. Mm -hmm.